What's happening, Lisbon Central School? David Flood here coming to you with a little follow-up message to say thank you. I know like maybe only three or four of you remember who I am. I was there a few weeks ago and gave uh, assemblies at your school. I'm just kidding. Maybe five or 10 of you remember who I am. But I wanted to come back, uh, guys and girls, and just say thank you for my time there. Thank you for welcoming me when I was there. Thank you for showing me dignity and respect to you and the staff. Everyone there treated me so kindly, um, which is great because I, you know, I walk into a lot of schools and most schools I walk into, I don't know anyone. You know, I've never met anyone. I might have spoken to the counselor or the principal on the phone prior, uh, but I'm so grateful for the way that you treated me. So thank you for that. And I just wanted to remind you, um, I didn't talk a lot about my wife when I was there, but my lovely wife, Mary, whenever I think she's nagging me, she always says to me her favorite four words of all time. She says them several times a day. She says, I'm just reminding you. So in the words of my wonderful wife, Mary, I'm just reminding you of the three challenges that I gave you when I was there. Number one, look on the inside of people. Do not judge people by their outsides. Do not, and if you do judge people, do not form an opinion based on that judgment. You know, always give people the benefit of the doubt and get to know them. Number two, reach out, show respect, and give thanks for two adults in your building, whoever they may be. You never know when you're going to, you never know. You will need a trusted adult in the future to go to share something that you're struggling with in order that you lighten your load and don't carry that burden of all of that, you know, stuff, all that baggage, all those things that happen to us that we don't share with anyone uh, and we stuff down. So make sure you connect with at least two adults in your building, secretary, the nurse, counselor, teacher, you know, any person you know, any adult that you can go to that you trust. So important. And the third challenge, the one that was most important to me and closest to my heart was no one eats alone. And you can expand on that challenge by including people in the cap, you know, in the cafeteria, in the hallway, on the bus, any of those unsupervised, unstructured times when someone is just going to be left out because there's so much going on, you know, look for opportunities to include someone in your conversation, draw people in, Include the unincluded. Look for people who are shy. Look for people who are lonely to to pull them into your group um, and to pull them up with you and to be with them, you know, to stand with them. So again, I just, uh, Lisbon, thank you so much. I loved being there. Um, I really hope we have an early spring, although the weather wasn't too bad when I was up there. I hope we have an early spring. I'd love to come back. I hope I see some of you down the road. Um, I speak at some Hobie conferences up in central New York, you know, and, and might be in, uh, in eastern New York soon. So, I, I, again, very grateful for my time there. Hope you guys are well and have a great end to the school year. I know you got a few months left, but a great second half to the school year. Have a great day.